Winston University Pharmacy closed permanently last week, but Winston students will soon be able to get medicine on campus again. Vice President of Business Operation Timothy Michael says a new pharmacy will open next spring in the Anthony Wayne Drive apartments. At Winston University, you can help students raise money for their projects through the university crowdfunding platform at warriorfunder.wayne.edu. Winston University Museum of Anthropology presents a new free exhibit for its 60th anniversary. The Secret Life of Things showcases 60 objects from local history to global collections. Cannabis will be legal in Detroit starting December 6. Residents will be able to smoke in the privacy of their homes, but smoking in public will still be an infraction. This November, Wayne State University libraries are taking part in the Race Card Project. Students and staff members are invited to express their thoughts about culture, race or identity using only six words. Ruther Library houses tons of archives about American history, so much that researchers have decided to launch a podcast. Every month, a new episode of Tales from the Ruther Library is posted online. The Spirit Farm in Corkton was open to all this weekend. In this urban farm, the Permaculture Action Network held an event to raise awareness on permaculture, a system of agricultural and social principles. And the idea with that is that the more that we have the ability to create what we need from the earth with our own hands and with one another and take care of one another and have community space to be in and, and heal and build relationship, then the closer we get to liberation. Organizer Ryan Rising says most people came to the event to learn new skills. He also says the majority of participants were not familiar with permaculture. Yet they built a rainwater catchment system and planted vegetables. Members of the Permaculture Action Network also served food during the day as part of the Spirit Farm's commitments to change the food supply situation in the neighborhood. We just didn't have enough variety and we didn't have enough food um, stores. It, all the food was like coming from like party stores and little smaller grocery stores that don't weren't really well stocked. The Permaculture Action Network played music all day long before an evening of benefit concerts to raise money for the farm. Organizers say this is the 85th time the Permaculture Action Network is holding an action day at an urban farm, but it's the first time they're doing it in Detroit. Visitors could also attend workshops inside the trip nearby. Several speakers shared their knowledge or presented projects they work on. Among them, Bridget O'Brien introduced a board game she created to explain how anyone can use permaculture in his or her daily life. Reporting for Wayne State, I'm Louise Balligier. College can be a stressful experience. At Wayne State University, Dr. Mike Wilmley and his team develop therapies to help people deal with their stress and chronic pain. He says, not everybody is equal when experiencing this emotion. Two people with the same experience, one might lead to post-traumatic stress disorder, and the other doesn't, in part because of their genetic predisposition. Wayne State University students can regularly attend workshops to get tips on how to deal with stress. Coordinator Lenuel Hernandez gives advices to prepare for math exams with a mind at ease. He noticed some students use preparation methods that often create additional tension. They start with easy material, then they move their, their way to the harder material, so they're getting to the harder material the closer they get to the test. And so when you are dealing with more difficult material, you stress yourself out. A recent study published in the Medical Journal of Depression and Anxiety reports three out of four college students say they're stressed. Counseling and psychological services, or CAPS, can also help students cope with stressful experiences. Their staff provides personal advices for free and in total confidentiality. Reporting from Wayne State, I'm Louise Balige. Good afternoon and welcome to the Wayne State Wire Wrap-Up. I'm Louise Balige. Did you vote in the midterm election? Wayne State official hosted a Making Your Vote Count event this year to help engage students in the election process. While some speakers shared their own views about the ballot issues, they made sure to leave the final decision up to those who plan to vote. At the end of the day, all of the proposals on Michigan's ballot passed, including a proposal to legalize recreational use of marijuana. And if you're looking for something fun to do, Detroit's entertainment district is just one mile from the Wayne State campus. Students are a queue line right away from a sports stadium and concert venue that offers deals for students. The campus activities team offers discounted concert tickets for their weekends in the D series. And the Dean of Students Office also emails promo codes for Detroit Lions, Red Wings and Tigers games. 
Visit events.wayne.edu for more exclusive offers. Thanks for joining us for the Wayne State Wire Wire Prep. I'm Louise Balligan.